Start the recording, always helps. Concept mapped number six from Chitak. Uh Map easy enough with a little with little secret from NASA. Easy version two. Okay. So yeah, we've been playing through these maps um, completely custom made by Chitak right there. Names right there. And yeah, these basically it's quite interesting playing through these maps. You can like see his progression as a map maker. Um, got a bit of a curved kind of wall there. Don't see very many of them in Portal. I'm guessing that's not the right way to go. Richmond Spear Whiskey Hubble. Interesting. I got a bit of a Portal One vibe going here. Out for any secrets and such. A quite nice BTS looking area. And I think we'll be going in here. Anything hiding over here? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. It's my um just let me sorry about that guys. I just want to check. Is my my microphone doesn't seem in OBS to be going very loud. Let's just check that right now quickly. And I see my desktop. Yo, solid snake in the house. What is going on, buddy? Hope you're well. This fine Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday morning, depending on what time it is, uh, where you are in the world. Just check in my microphone, two six, it's on 70, should be all right. Happy Tuesday yourself, buddy. All right, let's, um, let's go and have a little look-see. Where we can go. Assuming we are going to be able to see a full surface somewhere else. It's not one up there, is it? Nope, there is one. All the way over there. Quite nice destroyed detail. This truck off. I'm going to take me straight over to that side. Okay. Yeah, Portal's my jam. Normally solid. Um, I've racked up. I think over 2,000 hours now, possibly in the game. Uh, oh no. One 1,664. Not as many as I thought. But yeah. Uh, Portal Port 2 community maps are my sort of jam, so we do spend a lot of time playing them. Nice office BTS area. It's just to be careful, but we're going to go down here anyway. Got some cage lights. Please tell me I can go up this ladder. Oh, yes! <laughs> Uh, not enough maps do that. Normally you see a ladder and you can't go anywhere. Listen, there's no way. No, okay, so we did have to go through there. Some awards. Bits and pieces. Interesting, we've got something down here. Let's go up, but let's investigate down first. Doesn't look like we can open that door, though, unfortunately. Up we go. Interesting custom steps. We got a 
wonder if we got a button in here, potentially, to activate the door, which doesn't look like anything is... Oh, there we go. There's a lever. So I'm guessing that's going to activate the door way over here. a bit, um, give me a bit of Half-Life vibes here. I'm sure, I've only played through Half-Life once myself. But I'm pretty sure there's like a elevator section like that. Play that even solid. <laughs> well, it looks like it's uh, got some something similar here to Portal One going on. Try not to die. To be fair, solid. I only, I only played them last year. It was the first time I've played them myself, so don't feel bad. I've had I've had Half Life as long as I've had Portal. I just fell in love with Portal. Um, oh, there's a bouton down here. Okay, so where can we fling? I'm guessing we're going to have to fling here. Yeah, we're going to fling up to there. <laughs> as long as you play it before that... Um, as long as you play it before the, the VR version comes out, then... It's fine. We could have done this one of two ways. I was thinking we were just going to fling down there, but you know what? Let's just do it the simple way. Alright. It's the chamber that keeps on giving. Hey, we found the moon landing site, man. Moon landing was a hoax confirmed. It was all a big hoax, boys. Alright, uh, button gives us a cube. We have the cube anyway. It's going to do what? I assume they were going to want to probably um, push the cube off here. Whoopsie. That's the wrong portal. Even after all these years, we still use the wrong portals. Still get completely confused with things. So we could do that. I, I don't see why we want that one. Maybe we can do that once we're up top. We can push the cube off. Okay, I think we need the cube up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. Uh, once we're up top, we'll push the cube off the button and over to here, I think. Let's see. Yeah, we need the cube. So, um, we can actually do it one of two ways. Can we? Uh, actually, no, we can't. We need that to be there. So we, how are we going to push this off? Did I speak too soon? Yeah, there are uh, co-op community maps as well. Um, solid. I tend not to play um, cooperative maps, to be fair. Um... We can push this up here. Oh, uh, but then, yeah, fiddlesticks. What now? Okay, we can do that and that. Oh, I've increased the. Yeah, um, I because a lot of my crap, my um. I, I run a, a map request system on YouTube 
which I've been taking a bit of a break from recently because I got kind of I was on like over a two year streak of playing a map and uploading it. I hadn't missed an upload day for over two years on YouTube and um, end of last year I was getting quite um, burnt out. I think we're finished. We get in this area here. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I operate a system so map makers can sort of, sort of submit their maps and I'll play them and critique them kind of thing on on videos. So um, that's kind of like the majority of my YouTube channel is based around Portal 2 and community stuff. So, uh, all right. So yeah, there wasn't really a lot to do in that map. It was relatively straightforward. Oh, we're not done yet though. We are not done yet. But I, I get a lot of like map makers who um, who are quite reputable in the community, and their maps are freaking solid. It's no pun intended. Um, so I'm just gonna fall straight down. What we got down there? Oh, yeah, I've got that. Okay. Uh, so I want to pick up the cube, bring it back up here, take it to the top, redirect the laser. But yeah, so I can some some maps can take a ridiculously long time to be able to solve, and then that's kind of when the burnout kind of occurs. I don't need to redirect that at the minute, I don't think. Just gonna get the other cube back through here. across there. There must be something else we can use. How do we get ourselves up the top? Am I missing something? Got the disco textures going on. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so... Do that. I can't see those cubes though, unfortunately. Which is a shame, but we have that there. So what we can do is we can respawn. Oh, was it respawn both cubes? Ah! We didn't know that, did we? We've been played. Why did it respawn that one? Really? Alright. I say so. Yeah, people do make infuriating maps. Um, occasionally I do what I call a an FPF stream, which is a, a front page fodder. Um, so based on the rating systems, everybody thinks it's the most popular maps on the, the workshop. Um, we'll kind of play those maps. Which are always um, interesting. They're the sort of maps where... Oh, crud. I'm going to pay more attention here. What I'm doing. Yeah, the, the maps where kind of maybe people have just picked up the game for the first time, or they. I, I don't want to sound like a snob, but they're kind of. Um, okay, that'll do. Yeah, I don't want to sound like a snob, but they're maybe sort of like not as experienced at making maps. Maybe only played the game once or twice. Alright, so, how do I... There's no portal surface side. There is. Okay, there is. Good. We're good. Yeah, they've maybe not um, got a lot of experience in making maps. Um, and there, there's often just things that you can literally, a lot of the time, skip the entire map. Which uh, is always interesting. Big question then, how do I get that cube back? Because both of those are... There's no port surface over here that we could... No, no port surfaces. Uh, how do I... Respawns both cubes. I have a portal on there. 
but it will put a... Okay, maybe what I want to do then. No, no, because respawn that will mess that up as well. Alright, I got it. I got it. I got it! Do I got it? I think I got it. Maybe I don't got it. <laughs> I was just about to say, if I could... Um, if I was to put this cube back against the laser, and uh, that would open up the fizzler on the other side, like that. So then I have a way back to both sides, but if I press this button, yes, the cube will respawn, but I won't be able to get back in this side. Actually, no, I think that's right. So, we'll respawn the cubes. Take this one back over to this side. Uh, plop. Yeah, that's it. And then from here we can... Oh, do you know what? I'm a massive doofus. There is a separate button for that cube. <laughs> so, you know I say, oh, this button respawns both cubes. It really doesn't. <laughs> well, that was five minutes of my life. I'll never get back. That was the cube respawn button for the freaking thermal disturbance cube or the laser redirection cube, man. Trust me, I've had enough... I've had enough brain farts in this game to last me a lifetime. Game over. All right, that was not a bad one. Picked up towards the end. The beginning bit was a little bit basic. Hmm. But yeah, all in all, not a bad map towards the end. Let's see if um, map number seven is any different. <laughs> Here is a map of average difficulty with the rocket turret. It's up to you to play with the angles of the portal and the rocket. Discover the small room of Ratman. All right, so we've got a Ratman den to find in this one. All right. Okay, that was... <laughs> we like Ratman. Ratman's good. It's when Wheatley shows up that uh, we're not so impressed. Alright, so keep our eyes peeled for Eggs of Easter. And thank you so far. It's good to know you'll restart my computer. Mind your head texture there. No, no, it was mine, yeah. I had a little uh, antivirus pop up to say it's been updated and it will restart later tonight. Um, well, I guess we'll go one. Doesn't these doors... Oh no, okay. Sometimes those doors shut behind you. Which is... Anything else going on up here? Doesn't look like it. You'll work. You may work with robots, but can't. you can't take a bullet like one. Come then, fire at me. And dead. <laughs> and that's why we hate turrets. Mix 
Mixing up the Portal 1 and Portal 2 styles here. Interesting. to frickin I really didn't want me to uh So I'm guessing I need to smash I need to get it to smash through here but how on earth am I going to get an angle for that? Also, I feel like the rocket turret has glitched out of it here. rocket turret is a little bit different for some reason. But I don't really see. Cause I've got to, surely I've got to smash these bits of glass, right? That would make sense. But if the rocket turret isn't moving... <laughs> okay, I'm confused. Let's, um... Oh, I can't go back. Okay. That's interesting behavior. So, if the portal is there, if the portal is there, he def the turret defaults to the portal. This is a bit, I don't get what I'm meant to do here. The only thing I think to do is this. Does the turret aim upwards? No. So... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Out of here. So 
I could potentially loop a rocket in here. Don't see what that would do for me though. This is an empty office, so I don't really know what we're meant to be doing here. Kind of reminiscent of um, GLaDOS's final kind of pit area. in there then I could go back through here to get a rocket on this side but I don't see really how that would help nothing in here to pick up to turn on interact with Okay, so that's what we've got to do. All right, there we go. Got it. Let's leave the cube there. There we go. Nailed it. Clever. Quite clever. Made the player think that um, we couldn't do anything. Here's a Ratman, don't look. He's been hanging out here with his light and his cups of coffee, water bottles, and of course his aperture beans. Rodman! Oh, wrong one. Wrong man. <laughs> Actually, is this the Rodman chamber? Hmm. I think we're going to go this way. If Batman was Redman. Interesting that they've sort of stretched the texture onto the floor there. I don't normally see that. Uh, I missed. Okay. So I've missed somewhere to fire a pole. We have a test with some gel. Flying. We need some bounce jump. So let's get some. Is there some bounce jump somewhere? Can I actually get into here a little bit more? No. So I can't use bounce gel. Can't get in there. Ah. Let's try it up here instead. That makes sense. 
a cool trailer voice. <laughs> I do try. I'm actually part of a um, development team for Portium Mod at the minute. It's been in, act in development for about three or four years. And I was meant to be doing some voice acting for that, but um, I actually pulled out because I don't think... I didn't think I would be actually good. Oh, okay, we're up here. We're up top here. Nice. I didn't think I'd actually be good enough. So, um, yeah, I was meant to be doing voice acting in that, but... Coming soon to a portal near you. <laughs> Isn't green adhesion gel? Interesting. Alright, so well, number one. It's up there. This could be our Ratman Den, actually. Ratman! This is our Ratman Den. <laughs> He's cooking some beans. He's cooking his beans. He's got a bed. He's got more computers here. And he is set for life. His house is almost cooler than mine. Ratman in the quest for more beans. Okay, so that's one. I'm not always a fan when map makers like label up certain points because it kind of it's a bit of a giveaway for the sort of things that you need to do. So we need to get that into here. So it would seem. And uh, this is disabled by what exactly? Oh, okay. So the, we need to get the cube. We need to get that into there, I think. Interesting. Yeah, so we need to put the cube in there. How do we get into there, then? And also, does this cube auto-respawn? Be another question. Let's test the auto-respawn theory out. It does. Excellent. Okay. Ah, cool. Now I can go back, and we're going to want to do that, that, and uh, through here. Place a portal in there, respawn the cube, get the cube to come through here, drop it on that uh, cube button there. That turns on the light bridge near number two. Okay. Turns off the um, yeah. Turns off the yeah. Right. There's a panel over there. Which seems to have just opened. Where is our circle? Is that area up there? Okay. So let's do this and this. We need to get our button over here, it seems. Please tell me the. Oh, this would be so cool. Is this going to roll all the way down here? That is going to be awesome. Hey! Seeing balls move about in maps like this reminds me of a map I played once called the um, Ball Pit. And just the amount of automation in that map was just. blew my mind. Um, and at the end, they had these edgeless safety cubes that were kind of going around and to the theme of, I think it's space, oh wow, we'll pull problem here, with some node draw here. Yeah, that's, uh, there's some node draw there, buddy. To uh, Space Odyssey, uh, the Space Odyssey song, and it was so freaking epic, it was really good.
All right, let's move on to the next one, number eight. Numero wheat. Uh, concept number eight. A map which, with the remains, sorry, of room number eight of Portal One. You're going to blow the ceiling. Gonna blow the ceiling, huh? It's a mono portal as well. The other side of the mono portal hasn't been activated yet, though. I've ever seen this red. This red. This red model is very rare. I don't think I've ever seen this in the uh, main campaign. I don't think it's part of the main campaign. It's very rare to see that. Do you know what? I actually, honestly thought that was Sh uh, Chell stood there in a red jumpsuit. So, mono portal, mono portal. We need that to activate that. Talk blast off. Swap the mono portal around. We can go and pick up the cube. Um, so, where was the I think I need to take this back to the origin. There we go. And sort the monopoles back around again. Right, that was simple enough. Much prefer the turbine elevators of Paul too. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Um. Corridor to nowhere. Also, where are my frames going? Jeez. This game just got really stuttery. So I apologise for that, guys. Oh, looks like we got bombs. Okay, so can I go this way? Okay, there's okay, I didn't see where the bomb was actually dropping before. Blow this up. Is that the idea here? Nope. Well, I can only see two portals. Portal surfaces, sorry. So. It's just about blowing the ceiling, right? Do I need to? Yes, there we go. That's exactly what we need to do right there. And then probably need to blow this up. I had to guess. Yeah, there we go. 
Bit of outside the box thinking. I don't think this elevator is ready to go though, unfortunately. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties. You're not wrong. Jeez. Hey, we're the other side of that thing. I just said a corridor to nowhere. We come from this side. I wasn't expecting to come from this side. <laughs> Uh, teaches me. Okay. Looks like here we are going to What does that do? Ah. So it opens this door. No? Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, so I need to hit both. So, it's there and there, isn't it? Oh, but the... Yeah. This is the right place to be. What? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So that's one. So that's then going to rotate round to two. Okay. So let's try this. There we go. Okay. All right, three is permanent, which is good. Three is permanent, three gives us laser. Ah, now I can get permanent. I get the permanent, yes. It's all making sense to me now. All 
Alright. Not really normally a fan of timing puzzles, but that one wasn't too bad. Game over. I just had to kind of like understand the timing and get the position of the um, portal gun correct. Uh, and then go in from the right portal. Alright, this is probably the last one today. Uh, we'll play this one and then that will probably be enough. I'll be through another four of these maps. So let's go back and we will go into number nine. Uh, a suite of easy rooms with a mix of catapult intro and ricochet. Beware of the fan. All right. Beware of the fan. I'm losing hey, my frames. It's great seeing you guys again. Seriously, um, it turns out I'm a little bit short on test subjects right now, so this works out perfect. Right, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to hack the door so that we can get at it. Whee, we're nice bendy. Turret at the toilet. Alright, Wheatley, what are we doing? Tell me what we're doing here. Other than losing frames. Caution. Let's get up there. Alright, so disabling the fan seems like a good idea. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how we're going to disable the fan. Surface I'm missing somewhere. You defunk. We're dead. Cut up like a piece of cheese on a cheese grater. How do you like that analogy? trying to be clever there and see if I could jump around but uh, we cannot all right there's port surface so it had to be one somewhere
weird way of counting. Does the fan actually stop though? That I don't know. We've opened a door though. So I missed in here. That's a bit confusing. You're taking me weekly. This is reminiscent of a um, campaign level. the other side. Alright, yeah, makes sense. Okay. So far, so good. Next up. Where do we go next? vitrified uh, doors. Where do I go from here? Oh. Okay. Should pay more attention to my surroundings, I guess.
Okay, so now I should just repeat what I did before. And then when we do that, that'll give us the exit. So, yeah, let's do what we did before then. Cross. So, we should have done that as well, I guess. So I suppose it's a way to get out, because there's no portable surfacing. So that's a good escape path. And boom. Still not done, though. Tells a story weekly. Can you reach that wall back there? Nope. There we go. There was some way to uh, get a pawn on there. And this will undo. That's all I'm going to say. One word. Button. Should undo that. Then we can fold this lever. I don't know where the moving platform is. I'm a bit worried about that laser field down below, if I'm honest. Oh. Um. To be brutally honest, I don't really feel that, that helped me. So where can I fling to or from? What actually moved there? Is it that whole or is that whole area over there, I guess? But yeah, where can I actually fling to or from? see port surfaces sometimes. Oh, yes. oh, well done. Thanks, Wheatley. We're still not done, eh? This is the map that keeps on giving. Alright, this is the ricochet part. Keep moving, keep moving. Cool. Got a secret area down here potentially. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fun. I'll just randomly activate. Uh, and then I need to take this back through that door then. It's also kind of reminds me a bit of the, um, I think it's the aperture tag area. As well, where um, the Borealis, I think where the Borealis comes in the door, that smashes through the wall. Hey, hey, up here! Oh, we all remember this one, don't we? Yes, we do. into there. Should we have a quick peek? The 
doors to kind of blocked off to where it is in uh, in the main campaign map. But yeah, we don't think we can get in there. No, we cannot. Just BTSD detailing. Quite a nice twist on the um, the original maps. So you've obviously um, done this yourself. These sort of areas. Should have put a portal up there while I was up there to save having to come up here again, not to worry. How uh, do you blip? Tiddly bop. Well, there we like an error I could go now, into. Honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that little jumping on your side. Thanks, really. And there we go. That is the end of that map. So, uh, yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the stream today. We played through four of these. So, uh, yeah, all pretty good. Um, again, the hammer work. You can see the progression in the hammer work from when we started to where we are now. Um, tomorrow we may play a few a few more, just trying to get rid of this collection possibly, or we may do something else. But um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I really appreciate the support. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. See ya.